It's a big first quarter and a big fourth quarter. Can you just speak to your team's ability to start the game strong and then close it out? Yeah, you could you could see it tonight there in the first. Um, you know, after that probably that five minute mark. You know, five minutes went by in the first quarter, and then they they uh, uh, our guys really started digging in on the defensive end more there, and then you know that defense creates our offense. Uh, we just got so much more active. And then our and then our pace was better on the offensive end, and you know those things, offense and defense, are, they're so hand in hand, um, you know, with that movement. So, just like the aggressiveness, the the aggressiveness with the team, and then the fourth quarter, just the the constant fight, you know, that this team has, um, just uh, you know, in and out of the huddles, in and out of the timeouts, they keep coming out of the chairs with a lot of fight in them. So East. Nate, you've been able to get Goga Batadze in the game both of the last two games for some decently significant playing time. What have you liked and not liked that you've seen from him in, in these last two games? Yeah, I like a lot. Now, there's a lot to like. You know, he hadn't played for such a long time, as, as you know. Um, he's got in there about, you know, eight to ten minutes here uh, last couple games. He's a, he's a rim protector. Uh, he's a facilitator. He can play that five-out position there at the top of the key. Uh, I just like the way that, uh, you know, he looks bouncy out there to me. If he's, if he's not blocking the shot, he's, he's uh, rerouting the shot. And, uh, you know, he's just got to be physical in there and, and like he's been doing and continue to rebound the ball. And he's got a lot of skill for a big, a lot. Brendan Roar. Yeah, hey, Coach. So I know you probably would have liked to keep that large lead after the first quarter. But what kind of happened in those second and third periods that kind of let Charlotte back into it a little bit? Well, they're a very good team. You know, they they, they are, and it, it's a game of momentum. And, and what I told the guy at, at, at ha what I told the guys at halftime was, you know, we had our big first quarter, they had a big second quarter, but but our string was a little bit longer than theirs. Meaning, like, what I don't know, we were up at half four or five, and and I said I don't, we don't want to trade like that anymore. We went, we want to run run the highs much longer than the lows and we did a better job of that in the second half uh, instead of the the trading baskets or I, I liked our pace and aggressiveness more there in the in the third and fourth quarter Jay okay, Michael you got anything uh yeah sure um coach Doug got some a lot of easy baskets um it looks like they were trying to top lock and got caught looking in and making those backdoor cuts. You got so many easy baskets on that. Was that something that you anticipated or that they read themselves or that you saw from the sideline that you could take advantage of to get him to that season high 28 points in it? Yeah, his, uh, his teammates really enjoy playing with him. Doug plays at such great pace. You know, and it's with, with Domas there at the top. Domas is a passer. He's an excellent passer. And, and I need to talk about Domas here as well before we close. Um, but but the pace, the cuts that Doug makes, um, you know, just flying around, it frees up others. And tonight, you know, he's been freeing up others. And tonight it was a benefit to him. You know, the guys were looking for him. He was playing with great pace. And I want to mention Domas, too. He's took that knee bruise. It's another, uh, you know, another guy on our team who just doesn't want to sit out games. The toughness that he showed to step foot in that game tonight after taking that knee to knee and getting an x-rayed and MRI'd and being listed as day to day. He told me he's playing and the toughness goes a long ways, you know, and him and him and Doug had a nice little connection out there on a few plays and as well as others, Malcolm keeps leading this team and the rest of the guys, the space and cuts and, and uh, a number of them just getting to the paint and, and trying to collapse the defense and make plays for others.